Good morning guys and welcome back to another one. Today is Sunday. Well, whatever day you're watching this. For us, today is Sunday. I'm out here with Nate. Just sending a few biscuits down trying to get the <laughs> dreaded click. We're just out of the farm here just sending a few rounds down just trying to get the 22 sighted in properly. We got a target set up about 45 yards or meters. That's Canada. Let's go meters. We got a target set up about 45 meters down. We're just trying to zero in this 22. Been a bit of a struggle. However, I will say that the weather has eased up on us quite a bit. It's been close to 100 degrees for the past couple of weeks. You know, between 30 and 35 Canadian degrees. American degrees, Canadian degrees. Either way, it's been hot. Yesterday was nice and cool. It was 24, so I'm, I can't figure that out that quick in my head for you, but... 24 degrees Celsius. Today, it's 22 degrees Celsius, so it's a little bit cooler, which makes life a little easier. Anyway, we're over here at the farm. Way down there, you see that white pizza box? That's what we uh, got for a target today. We got a target drawn on there. We're trying to get this thing zeroed in at about, about 45 meters. So as you see, we have a whole host of ammo options. We got the Winchester 22. We've got uh, American Eagle, we got Winchester Wildcat, and we got the CCI Mini Mag. Now these are all still fairly inexpensive options for shooting and it makes for a lot of fun because you can shoot a lot and it doesn't cost you a lot. Hence the inexpensive options. Whereas opposed to the SKS with the 762, and was a little bit more money. Same with the Mosin, and was a little bit more money. but. Today we've been meaning to sight this scope in for a long time. Last time we were trying to sight this in, it didn't go so well. It was pretty much shooter error. Uh, we started out at 100 meters. And that's pretty much a stretch for the 22, and it didn't work out so well. We moved up to 50. Still couldn't get it even on the paper. Um, I took the scope off, put it back on. Not that that makes any difference, but put it back on. And now we started out today at 15. I didn't get it on video, but we started out at 15 and continually backed our way up and made adjustments from there. So we are sitting here at 45 meters and it seems to be in the neighborhood, but we don't have a steady platform, which means we are subject to movement. But we're just out here having some fun, get it sighted in, and hopefully it stays sighted. Two more. All right, we're gonna go have a look. Nate was shooting a little quick there. So hard to tell where he's at, but looks like he's pretty much all on the paper here. Let's have a look. Yeah, he hit the cardboard. I'll oh, draw lines through all of them. All right, guys, I've got a few of these at home. These are some old shotgun shells. They got uh, corrosion on the brass here. Question is, are they safe to shoot? What happens to the inside of these? over a period of time now I don't know if these have gotten wet these were all given to me by somebody else so you see here right on the edge of the brass here it's all corroded it's corroded on the very end there is it safe to shoot we're gonna take this apart and see what's inside so obviously I've cut the cap off of a different one here again though it is all corroded on the end right off the bat I can see some of the BBs inside are discolored not sure how well you're gonna be able to see this but all right, I hope you can see that. Some of the BBs are shiny, some are not. Uh, I'm not sure if that's normal. But one would expect them to be all the same shiny color because that's how they come. I'm not sure if that's just time or there was condensation in there at one point. But some of them are a dull black color. I got a fly biting me on the leg here I'm not too happy about. There. Killed him. So this is... Again, I hope you can see that. Okay, so when the cap comes off, all that shot sits in what they call a wad. That's the white cup inside here. So all the BBs sit in here, okay? Just like that. As we cut down a little further, I'm not sure if that'll show you or not, but there's a piece of plastic in there. We get down a little further in the shell, we got this piece of plastic. with a solid back end on it. Inside here, I'm gonna put this down so you can actually see it, I hope, is the gunpowder. So 
So right here we got the wad that holds all the lead shot or steel shot. And in the bottom, right next to the primer, is the gunpowder. As all my gunpowder blows away in the wind. So when you pull the trigger, it releases the firing pin, which strikes the primer. Small explosion ignites the powder, which then a bigger explosion, which pushes the pressure out because everything's tight in the barrel. And it's also tight with the hard plastic here. It then sends the wad out and the wad is what's holding your shot. You get different patterns with different shotgun shells and different barrels on shotguns. That's the anatomy of a shotgun shell. So with all that, Nate's gonna send a few more rounds down there to see if we can keep this thing on target or get it dialed in a little better. Again, it's hard when you don't have a stable platform, so we're just kind of winging it, but we wanna get it in the neighborhood. That one took off. I thought I heard it go past. All right, well after that barrage, let's go up and see how he did there. I don't exactly call that precision shooting, but. I forgot the parker. Don't worry about it. Wow. You might've sucked on that one, Nate. Fresh one there, fresh one over there, another fresh one down there, up there, and up there, and there, and there. All right, so at 45 meters, I think on a stable platform, I think we're on the money. That's about a two inch circle in the center there, so I think we're pretty good there. Which is basically what I wanted. You don't wanna go much past 50 meters with the uh, 22 anyways. You can get farther than that, but uh, our scope will not allow you to get that far, which means you'd just be guessing at that point. So Nate's going to send some more, and we'll figure out what to do after that. I should put a montage together as to how many videos start or end in my truck. But that's going to do it for today's video. I'm now on my way to the farm. I got to pick up some corn. We're going to go home and have a barbecue. I'm trying out some new steak from another company I've never got meat from before. That's a whole separate video. I'll let you know about that. But that's it. That's our Sunday. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I appreciate you all watching. While you're here, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you along. Get outside and enjoy the outdoors. I'll see you on the next one. Later. And all that pressure build up inside there pushes against the back side of the wad and pushes all the shot out, which just fell out all over the ground. So. Which pushes the shot out. That's called the wad. So, shot the wad. That's called the wad. So, all the BBs sit in here.